Would the Hacksmith's lightsaber work as an actual weapon? Now, first off, this thing burns at 4,500 degrees Fahrenheit, and for reference, that's about the same as an air acetylene torch or white phosphorus, which is essentially a war crime. So it could definitely hurt somebody, and it could definitely, you know, somebody. However, if something could do that is not the only metric that I use for figuring out if something could be an efficient weapon. I also compare how it would do if it went toe-to-toe -to -toe up against a similar weapon that's comparable, in this case a sword, and also wielded by somebody who knows how to use it. Now the Hacksmith's lightsaber is a pretty small package, it's just a part that goes on your belt, and a part that goes up into the hilt, and then you've got the saber hilt. I can't really see maneuverability being too much of an issue, especially since we've got soldiers that fight in gear that is a lot heavier than this. However, this plasma blade has a reach of about one foot, especially if you're considering it moving around in space. And that's a lot less than most other swords, so right off the bat you would have a huge reach disadvantage. And if that wasn't enough, swords can deal damage in a multitude of different ways. Heat essentially just needs contact, which does seem like it could theoretically give it an advantage. However, in this situation, a blade can thrust, a blade can cut, it can go in from a lot of different angles in a lot of different ways, but a short plasma blade would be pretty limited. Unless we're talking about like night fighting stuff and one person has this lightsaber, so I don't think it would be effective as an actual weapon. However, just considering those raw factors in a vacuum isn't really enough. We need to look at other factors. Fighting somebody who has a plasma blade would be intimidating. While it's not the iconic lightsaber sound, the sound of gas being forced through a tube and then be ignited would be pretty darn scary too. In addition to that, even the slightest contact with the incredibly hot plasma would hurt a lot, and if you've ever accidentally touched something that's really hot, that elicits an incredibly quick reflex response. But those two factors combined, I think that we could find a niche for this weapon, and in my opinion, that's ironically as a less than lethal option. Now I want to stress that this could definitely cause permanent scarring, permanent damage, permanent disfigurement, permanent death. However, collapsible batons, tasers, and stun guns could also incite those sorts of responses in humans, so less lethal options being not 100% non-lethal isn't something that's necessarily new. Now somebody would have to be a lot more careful with this sort of thing than with a collapsible baton, but it is scary and it could cause somebody to immediately, reflexively stop what they're doing with a massive amount of pain from one touch. However, as is, I don't think it would be too effective if you held it by the bottom and put a guard over where your hand is at that very bottom and made the shaft out of something that could take a hit. That way you could essentially use it as a club if the plasma wasn't coming out and that you could parry with it then I think it would be an effective weapon in specific niches. Now, do I think that law enforcement or military should have plasma weapons as less than lethal options? No, I most definitely do not. But unless we find a way to make this blade three feet long and contained in a way that it's hot all the way throughout, but not too hot for the user, and potentially come up with blaster weapons that these lightsabers can deflect, then I think that that's pretty much the only way that it could be useful as a dedicated weapon. However, I can definitely see this sort of thing being useful just as a compact torch for people like first responders, search and rescue firefighters, even plumbers and mechanics. It would be a pretty useful compact tool to have. And like most tools, if pressed into use, it could seriously mess somebody up. 